channel. I don't know how we made it here already. It's already halfway into 2021. And if you guys remember back in January, I made the decision that my main hair goal for the year is going to be just growing my hair out. I want to retain more length. I want to just keep it as happy and healthy as possible, of course, as always. But my main, main goal was just growth. We we're just going for growth this year. So I've been doing specific things. I've been documenting like clips of my hair. So in this video, we're going to go through the first half of my hair journey for this year. I'm going to share some new things that I've been using and kind of like see some side-by-side -side clips so we can really see what the growth is looking like so far. I'm very excited for this video. Also very excited to let you know that this video is sponsored by Pros. I've got some really exciting new things to share with you when it comes to hair growth and overall like hair and scalp health. This is just about to be amazing and I can't wait to share it. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So yeah, January 2021, a whole roughly six months ago. I just think it's crazy. It feels like yesterday, honestly. Um, but yeah, six months ago, I decided hair growth is gonna be the main focus. At that point, I feel like I was still kind of growing out my bangs. I did have some really great length going on, but I felt like my hair was really, really choppy at the beginning of this year because the bangs were at one length and then the rest of the length was kind of like sitting below. Um, so what I did actually at the beginning of this year, around like early February, I actually went in for a proper trim. It was actually kind of like a trim and a reshape. I always, always preach this to you guys, getting regular trims are massively important it can feel a little bit frustrating sometimes especially if you get a hairdresser who is like scissor happy but i'm telling you a good trim literally gives your hair new life every single time so if you're watching this and you're trying to figure out the best tips and tricks to grow out your hair that's going to be the first thing that i'm going to mention honestly it can solve a lot of issues single strand knots split ends breakage dryness frizz all of that can literally be solved by a really great trim i'm telling you okay it's facts so what else have I been up to in order to make sure that my hair is going to continue to grow and to make sure that I'm about to smash this hair growth goal? So first, trims. Second, you guys actually would have seen the video that I did. I shared an updated wash day regimen. I've been doing things a little bit differently. In case you missed it, I'm going to summarize really quickly. Basically, I cleanse way more thoroughly because buildup is a massive issue for me now with it being so much hair and all of that. Um, and two, I am using less cream products and just more lightweight gel products. So basically what all of that is doing is just making sure that I'm avoiding as much buildup on my hair as possible. I have actually found that, especially with my hair like growing longer, it just, it needs different things. It's constantly changing. And so I really had to actually drastically tweak my regimen this year. And just those are like the two main things. Like it's really just, Avoiding buildup at all costs because that really it's just my hair is just not itself. It's not happy You know those commercials where it's like you're not yourself when it's hungry and they eat the Snickers bar and then you're good You know, what I mean my hair is not itself when it's got buildup on it So that has been my main thing if you guys are interested in hearing more like in-depth details and seeing the process I'll go ahead and link it up here and down below so with the trim and then the changes in my regimen I feel like honestly even with the added color even though we didn't add bleach you know color is color right it's still you know potential some type of damage but even with the color I feel like I've still been able to maintain super happy healthy popping curls <sighs> but with all that being said I would be lying I would be 100% lying to y'all if I said it's just been you know a walk in the park because it absolutely has not been there has actually been a number of times this year that I have been extremely extremely tempted to chop my hair and I'm actually gonna go ahead and say this now this has been the first time in my natural hair journey now remember I started from a big chop okay my hair was this long this right here <laughs> y'all are gonna probably think I'm crazy but this right here feels like the most awkward length I have ever had. It's so annoying to me. It, it frustrates me. Um, when I had shorter hair, I feel like my hair used to stand up. It was a vibe. It was a style. Do you know what I mean? First, I started out with like the tapered big chop. Stylish. 
chic she's bad she's bougie you know what I mean then it kind of grew out into this cute little fro and it had so much body it stuck up into the air at every stage my hair was just it was a vibe it was a style at this stage as much as I'm dying to have my hair you know down here while it's still curly it's really hard for me to pass this stage right now because I feel like it's not really a style. I look like I have like messy beach hair every single day. It's not it's not a fly chic kind of style. It's just like in the middle. It's okay, yeah, it's like medium length. It's fairly long, I guess you could technically say cuz when we stretch it, it's pretty long. Um, but it's not the long that is bomb. Do you know who my hair goals are? Georgia, Jasmine, those girls, I look up to them. They both actually recently like trimmed their hair, but it's still, both of them have still super big, long, beautiful hair. And I feel like at that stage, when your hair is so big, it becomes a statement, it becomes a style, it becomes a flex, you know what I mean? And personally, I don't know, I just feel like right now it's just blah. Cause it's not there yet, it's not like boom that's a flex, holy crap she's a lot of hair, you know what I mean? It's kinda like oh, okay her hair's growing, cool. And it just feels, it feels basic to me, it feels a little basic. So this is, where are we at? Almost four years into my natural hair journey and I officially feel like I'm at an awkward stage that I really don't like. It's like the first time along my entire journey. So it has been a little bit difficult. And I think that's the reason why I actually came on here and did a video and say, hey, I'm growing my hair out this year, y'all, because I really wanted you guys to help me stay accountable. I feel like I just owe it to myself and to my natural hair to see how long it can get and if it could really get to that mid-length goal that I really have in my mind. And I'm talking mid-length, unstretched, Shrunken and curled. I know I know it's a lot, but that's when it's a vibe. That's when it's cool and You know what? I don't see a lot of people on Pinterest with my hair texture With that much hair, you know like Georgia and Jasmine beautiful curls, but they're definitely like Looser textures, you know what I mean? So I wanted to do it for the super curlies for the for the almost coily for the s curl gang I wanted to do this for y'all you know what I mean so it's been a struggle honestly if I'm being real I wanted to be transparent about that because it's like I don't want y'all to think like oh she always does all these pretty videos and and then boom my hair you know I finally get to the stage and it looks like it was just easy and when I tell you it's not like if you go into my Pinterest and look at my recent searches it's all short hair like short haircuts with the, the style with the volume with the you know um, there's only so many cuts and styles you can do with long hair and again I just feel like it's not a vibe until it's super long anyways Anyways, I'm gonna stop complaining. I just wanted to be transparent that it is very hard for me too. There has, however, been one bright spot. Thank you to pros. They came through for me this year. Oh my gosh, very excited. So I don't think I have mentioned pros here on to you guys. Um, I did work with them on a campaign on Instagram about sometime last year, it was towards like the end-ish of last year. Let me tell you, I am obsessed with Pros. Um, so Pros is a custom hair care brand and you literally go on their website and you take a quiz and they create hair products for you. They do have like a curl cream, they have a pre-shampoo mask that I have been raving about on Instagram since I've used it last year. Um, they have shampoo and conditioner and they literally customize the products based on the quiz that you take on their website. So um, I absolutely love the entire process. I feel like just from taking the quiz I learned more about like my hair than I thought I knew but yeah so I tried pros last year got their products was completely obsessed with the way it worked in my hair I even got to choose the scent and it was amazing continues to be amazing but when they approached me this year and told me that they are creating hair vitamins I said say less so their vitamins are called the root source vitamins and they're also customized specifically for you they used my answers for my quiz last year there was only one reservation that I had had and I was like I would love to try these but I hope they don't break me out and that was gonna kind of be my thing like if it causes acne in my skin it was just gonna be a no-go for me but I'm super excited to let you know <laughs> these root source vitamins they do not 
well at least for me personally they don't break me out I do have issues with majority of hair supplements um, but I just found that once I drank enough water with these I was perfectly fine so I was very very happy about that they are dermatologist approved as well which I thought was really really dope too so let me give y'all the deets I've actually been taking this since the beginning of May so I've been documenting my process a little bit I really wanted to see what actual differences was I gonna see from another hair growth vitamin you know what I mean there's so many on the market and I really wanted to test and see like how would this be different what differences am I actually gonna see in my hair and also my scalp actually so this is what the vitamins look like so it comes with two you can see it has your name on the bottle that's one of my favorite things actually I love a good customized product slap my name on anything and I'll be happy um, but you can see one is for scalp balance and one is for hair growth so I love the fact that it has like a targeted approach and it's like attacking your hair well, it's not attacking your hair it's boosting your hair from all different types of angles so when I first started using this after about two weeks I already noticed an initial change in my scalp I didn't feel it I forgot my scalp was there and that's kind of a big thing um, as a curly girl I know we have a lot of issues with buildup buildup on the scalp from all the product that we use so it's very very normal for your scalp to get really really itchy in between washes that was no longer a thing for me I literally found myself stretching my wash days to day seven and day eight because my scalp was not itching me. I was like, cool, we can keep going then. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but it just absolutely completely balanced out my scalp. And I'm really just sharing my personal experience with these vitamins with y'all because honestly, I have not noticed this much improvement in my hair and scalp with any other vitamins before so massive difference in my scalp no itching no like irritation my scalp was just calm and cool as a cucumber it was amazing honestly like I was shook so once I saw that one it was not breaking out my skin and two my scalp was on its best behavior I was already hooked at that point the next difference I have noticed recently I would say over the last two to three weeks weeks or so is that my shedding is way less on wash days very exciting I was a little bit shook so I went back actually they sent me like a little informational sheet on the vitamins themselves and I'm gonna read you what it says okay so they actually have a blend that is called the pure catalyst that stimulates the hair bulb to grow faster and hold tighter meaning less shedding like it's scientifically proven to do that and I was shook I was like wow this is amazing so I'd really say overall these vitamins have been an amazing addition to kind of boost my little hair growth journey this year I feel like overall my hair is just nice and happy and healthy I think these vitamins in combination with my updated regimen with my trim that I started out with this year and everything that I've been doing on top of it has really given my hair a chance to like flourish and be at her absolute best okay and I I am just I'm beyond happy with the results so this is just a clip right here of me at the beginning of May this was the actual first day that I started taking the vitamins so this is my before clip you can see like the ends of my hair look it looks like a little thinner towards the end like I have thickness in the roots and then as it goes down it gets a little thinner towards the ends now I feel like that has kind of filled out right it's looking really nice and healthy my ends are looking really great and just overall I I literally am shook by these vitamins so even though you know I had a couple of frustrations with you know my little hair journey these vitamins kind of brought back some excitement to the journey because I noticed the like actual change in my hair and scalp which I thought was absolutely dope if you guys are interested in getting some vitamins for yourself I definitely like based off of my experience I personally 12 out of 10 recommend so you guys can go over to the pros website I'll actually do a special link for you guys in the description box below you can go ahead and take your quiz and if you use my special link you can get $10 off your first order 
Plus, if you go ahead and subscribe as well, you can get an additional 15% off. So it's a great way to give these vitamins a try with saving some of that moolah at the same time. You know what I mean? But yeah, I basically will just continue to use the vitamins for a little bit. I just feel like it's giving me a little bit of a boost. I don't think it's something that I would necessarily continue to be on every single day all the time, but it's something that's really nice to invest in for a quick boost over like a three to six month period. So yeah guys, that is basically it for my hair growth journey updates. I'm gonna continue to document the process and at the end of this year, we'll be able to do a really full comparison, full year of hair growth, everything that I've continued to do and that should be a really fun one to kind of compare and see my hair at the end of the year. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be like, like around here. Is that too much to ask? It's kind of a lot to ask. Maybe like here, here? <laughs> I don't know. Just stick around and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and also a super special thank you to Pros, once again, our sponsors of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye!